So today I'm making the prettiest Thai shortbread cookies. They are shaped into the flowers that are grown in the region and it's actually pretty easy and fun to make. And traditionally what is done for the cookies is after they are done, um, a candle is put in to perfume the whole thing. So not only is it pretty and fun to eat, but it smells good as well. So I can't wait to show you guys this recipe. So let's head over to the kitchen and then let's get started. Alrighty kitties, this is gonna be a super easy recipe. So I have a half a cup of powdered sugar along with one cup of cake flour. And that cake flour with um, less protein is gonna really help keep these cookies very crumbly. Um, I think I also added a quarter teaspoon of salt into that. And then um, in go about a quarter cup of vegetable oil. So this is the part that people say is hardest to do is to find the right consistency. I'm gonna just tell you right now that the proper consistency is going to be the texture of wet sand. I used to work at a bakery making shortbread cookies and it was always the texture of wet sand. So you wanna put in the oil a little bit at a time. Uh, Ingo the vanilla as well. I think I ended up putting in about a quarter cup, maybe plus one or two teaspoons um, into the mixture. So you just keep on mixing it a little bit uh, at a time and then until it gets to this nice crumbly kind of wettish sand mixture. I would say that to make it easier uh, for yourself to form the cookies later, err on the side of just ever so slightly more wet until you can just bunch everything up into a ball quite easily like what I'm doing right now. So I have gloves on because I am going to be working with food coloring. So um, today I'm going to be doing some yellow flowers, some pink flowers, and then some blue flowers. So I'm kind of working my way uh, from the lightest color to the darkest color. And you guys can choose to use like a natural food coloring if you want, or um, also, you know, don't use food coloring at all. So it's really kind of up to you, but it's always a little bit prettier when it's um, different colors. So there goes the yellow and now I am going to be doing pink. So another handful uh, like so, I think I'm gonna be making a little bit more pink. So what I didn't show you on the yellow is sometimes you really have to knead the food coloring in. Like you have to smear it um, to the bench surface so that you don't get kind of little specks of color in between. So there's my blue, which came out also really, really well. So if the dough happens to be a little bit too soft to work with, like if it's on a warm day, you can put it into the refrigerator for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, afterwards, you just wanna start rolling like about quarter size balls. These guys can get crumbly if they're a little bit too cold. So just kind of warm them up with your hands. So you can see afterwards I did them with um, all different colors, leaving just a little bit more left for um, the centers. So what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting each ball into uh, four. So I'm quartering everything and these will become the petals for my flowers. So you can see I have a little bit of um, every color left and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make uh, the centers for the flower. So I'm going to take very small sized balls. Now it really depends on how big your petals are and I'm going to, I actually put a cross on them but um, upon kind of closer inspection, the real flowers are actually divided um, into three but you know, sometimes you can't really tell. So again, these balls, um, depending on the size of your petals is kind of how big you want to make these. So uh, what I've already started doing is putting the flowers together. So basically you take three of them and then you kind of press them right at the very bottom. And because they're kind of short ready, they're kind of pretty moist already, they stick together very, very well. You guys will notice that I didn't put parchment on because it sticks better onto the actual sheet pan, but um, sometimes to prevent you know extra burning from happening, you should put a piece of parchment as well. So I'm just placing uh, the centers onto each petal like so. So a very important thing to know also is that these guys do spread a little bit in the oven. So um, you might wanna space them out a little bit more and then also um, kind of bunch the petals in because as they bake, they do spread out. So I'm um, kind of a word of warning like that. So these guys go into the oven 350 degrees just for about 10 to 12 minutes. You obviously don't want any color on them. And then when they're done, you can see that they kind of grew just ever so slightly and spread out just a little bit. And then if you do have a scented candle, you can place all of the cookies inside a pot with a lid and then blow out the scented candle, put that in, and then put the lid on top of it for about an hour or so, just until the cookies can um, absorb some of that flavor. And then basically you are all set. These cookies look so pretty. Like imagine having a dinner party or like a lunch or I don't know, like a children's party and then having these guys out. They're going to be so pretty, so elegant, and um, it would be an excellent kind of centerpiece to decorate the table with. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It was definitely new for me and I absolutely love it. And as usual, if you wanna see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.